Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? It's Big P here. You know, don't you? You know. Right. And you know as well, don't you, Barry Earn? Why are you still in Epstein's book on social media? You're on Google as well, but you've not come out and explained it. Why is that? I want to know. I want to know. I want to know why Anthony Bellew keeps putting tweets out, going on about sordid things on social media and how people should be tortured and this and that. But yet, you ain't got a problem with coming down to your house and doing pundit work. But yet, you won't come out and explain yourself. I want to see you come out, Barry, and explain why you're in Jeffrey Epstein's book. <coughs> I've, emailed, I've emailed you, but no one comes back. I want to know. I want to know why. And all the other people are in it. Why are they all gone quiet? Why? What's going on here? What sort of world are we living in here? Eh? If that were Frank Warren in that book, you and all your friendly bot account friends and all their matchroom FC, you'd be sticking it to Frank Warren left, right and centre, wouldn't you, Barry? And this is why I've come to the conclusion that you're the problem, you're the stumbling block between us getting the fights that we want. You're still playing the old dinosaur slave, tra slave trader card, aren't you? Dragging it out, dragging it out and dragging it out. It's like I used to have this argument with Dennis regarding when he had Ricky Atten. He used to, uh, I used to say, well, how come you weren't working with Ricky Atten? And well, he had a deal with Bob Arum, Dennis said on my channel. He had a deal with Bob Arum for Ricky Atten for, I think it was 25 million. To, to fight three fights with Bob Arum and then go for Mayweather. And I won't, whoa, why though? Why? They did the right thing to go for Mayweather at the time, didn't they? But a promoter's mentality is to drag it on, innit? And drag it on and get as much money as it out, out, out of situations as they can. But sometimes we have overkill, so you can't get too greedy. So Barry, stop being greedy. Stop being greedy. Stop it. Make the wilder fight. Joshua, make Fury Joshua and get these fights on and while you're at it come on IFL, you've got plenty to say on IFL while you're fishing but why ain't you got nothing to say about being in Jeffrey Epstein's little black book why? could you imagine anybody else in British sport in boxing the Matchroom FC brigade would be all over it so why should you get a free pass Barry, why? why should you get a free pass Come out and explain why you're in Epstein's book. Nobody's accusing you of anything. There's not to be frightened of. Just come out and explain why you're in Epstein's book. I want to know personally, me, because I'm a big Barry Hearn fan. I have been years. I think what you've done with Snooker is great. What you've built is fantastic. You've had nothing give you. Fantastic. But there's always going to be that question mark, isn't there? Why are you in Jeffrey Epstein's book? Why? Why? come out and say look I'm in his book blah 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 Prince Andrew come out didn't he and hung himself in knots but they were going to go after him weren't they but yours there's nobody said anything about you you're just in a black book it's your name and number in a black book it don't mean anything just come out and say oh you were investing some money for me you were a financier that's all you've got to say but you're not here and it ain't going to go away because I'm not going to let it alright Come out and explain and then we're all right, aren't we? We can move on. All right. We can move on, but while ever you're in that book for the most horriblest person of this year, after Jimmy, of this century, after Jimmy Savile, you've got to come out and explain why you're in Jeffrey Epstein's book. And why have we got Tony Bellew shouting off about them kind of things on Twitter, but when he's, when he's asked about your book... We've got silence. We've got you and your little garden no mates all fishing around you. But if Oak comes out and it's sordid, would they want to be fishing with you then? They'll hang you out to dry. So come out and explain it and we can move on. I love you to bits, me, Bazzi, but I want to know for my own personal... You know what I mean? I want to know. I want to know personally, me, Big P. And it ain't going away. So come out and explain yourself. All right, peace out. Keep on trucking, keep sporting boxing. Don't have nightmares, Barry. Don't have nightmares. All right? 
HMP Brixton, it's not that bad, but Pentonville's a bit shocking. You might not like it in there. Alright? It's only banter. Peace out. Don't forget to like and subscribe and share the video. Because we are the big porky movement. We address things and say things that no one dares say.